hey guys so i just want to thank you for stopping by in this video i am going to do a reading on your future husband i'm going to tell you what he looks like what he does for a living i'm going to also tell you um his zodiac sign around the time he was born I'm going to describe his personality and I'm also going to ask for it to tell me if you already know him. All right. Now, as you can see, there are six decks here and I just want you to really look at each deck and really just stare at it, study it. And I just want you to pick the deck that really just jumps up at you. And that's your reading. There's going to be a timestamp in the description below with your reading for your deck on your husband. Um, so you, that you don't have to stay and watch this whole entire thing because I know you guys got better things to do. And yeah, so just give me a second to pause this video so I can put the other decks to the side and then I can start with, I can start with anyone who picked deck one. All right, so if you pick deck one, this is your reading on your husband, okay? So let's just start off with what he does for a living, okay? All right, so he is a food scientist technician, all right? Um, for some of you, this is actually what he does for a living. For others of you, he may just have a job where he works with food a lot, or he might just be a technician, you know, of some sort. Um, it feels like, you know, he makes, um, a decent amount of money a year. Um, you know, he doesn't make millions. He's not making six figures. Um, but he makes a decent amount. He can take care of himself. Okay. So that's the first thing I'm getting here. He might be someone who's really into science too. Um, biology, um, as we see, we have animal science here, chemistry, um, he might be someone who's very, um, very health conscious, you know, I, I'm kind of getting a vision that he's somebody that looks at the labels of the food that he eats, you know, so if like, let's say a food has a certain, uh, what do you call it, ingredient in it, he won't, he won't eat it, okay, so he's very strict about his health, okay, um, I'm getting he's a hard worker, he's very ambitious, He's very conservative, okay? Now, let's get into what he looks like. Because I know a lot of you are like, describe what he looks like to me, okay? So, we got he's taller than you. That's always a plus, right? He's taller than you. He is skinny, right? That makes sense because he's so health conscious, okay? Um, he does have braces, okay? Um, when you meet him, he may not have braces at the time, but maybe as a child, he had braces, you know? So what I'm getting from your your future husband is that he's somebody that really cares about his body. You know, he cares about what he puts in his body and he cares about his outer appearance a lot. He's very, um, he takes care of himself, you know? I'm getting, he goes to the gym, he eats really healthy, um... He's a good guy, okay? We also have that he's of South Asian descent, okay? We have summer here. It tells me that he's born sometime in the summer, okay? So that could be he is a possible Gemini, Leo, or Cancer. Could even possibly be a Virgo too, okay? He has a square shaped face. And he may have a lot of Scorpio placements as well. Or for some of you, he might actually be born um, during uh, Scorpio season starts in what, October, uh, October, November time. So for some of you, he might be a Scorpio. For others of you, like I said, his birthday is in the summer. And then for some of you, he just has a lot of Scorpio placements, okay? Now, let's describe him as a person, his overall personality. So, he is coming out as a knight of swords. And that tells me that he's very ambitious, like I told you guys. He's very driven. Whatever he wants, he goes for it. He's the kind of person that sees the moment. So, if he says, I want that thing, he's going to go and get that thing. He can be impulsive, 
okay he can be aggressive um but that's because he's confident you know whatever he's wanted in life he's always gone for it he has never really had anything handed to him he's had a hard life and i do feel like when you guys meet each other he will be very aggressive like he will seize the moment you know what i mean so it won't be no games there'll be no guessing games of oh does he like me or not no like you're gonna know um i am also getting with the five of cups that like i told you he's had a hard life um he's faced you know some traumas especially from childhood um he has been abandoned as a child he's experienced loss um i just heard from spirit um it just came to me like I'm hearing he lost one of his parents when he was very young, you know, so he still kind of holds on to that. OK, however, with the four of pentacles, he is someone that owns his own home. OK, um, he's very stable. Right. He wants to have his own family. He believes in family. OK, he is close to his family, especially with him losing a parent. It did bring him closer to the other members in his family. Another thing I also like about his energy with the Three of Pentacles is that he's a team player. You know, he's the type of person that says, hey, let's work together. You know, he's not selfish. Um, for some of you, some of you already have children. And he will be a great stepfather to your children. As I'm looking at this image, it's two little girls, right? And he's helping them, you know. They're trying to, like, I don't know exactly what this is called, but... They're doing some type of like arts and craft and he's helping them. And that's the kind of father he's going to be. He's going to help the children that you already have for some of you that have children. And for those of you that don't, when you guys actually have children together, he's going to be a team player. He's not going to be one of those fathers like, oh, I can't do that because I'm a man. No. Like if they want to have a tea party, he's going to have a tea party with them. He's very giving. He's very fair. And he's a great team player. Also, with the Knight of Pentacles, it is telling me that even though he's very, like, ambitious and he goes for what he wants, he can be very slow acting when it comes to committing. So, although I feel like he will be very aggressive with you when he tries to pursue you, when it comes to commitment, he'll be kind of slow to do that. He won't jump into it right away. And what I'm getting here with the Eight of Cups is that there will be times when you're first getting to know him that you'll consider walking away from him because you'll feel like he's taking too long to commit, you know? But it's not that he's not looking to commit. It's just that, like I said, he's the kind of person that has been through a lot. And in the past, he's jumped to commit to women. And, you know, for those of you who are in me watching this, um, you know, he's, he's committed to people in the past and it didn't work out. And when he comes, he's very loyal. You know, he doesn't give up. He doesn't just like walk away from relationships when they're hard. He sticks it out. So that's why he's very, very selective about who he actually commits to. But it has shown me that you guys will overcome that. All right. So um, deck one, that is your reading on your uh, husband. All right. So if you found that reading helpful, please go ahead and like this video um please share it with someone else and if you want to book a prior reading with me that's obviously in the description below all right so let's get to the people who picked deck two all right so we are going to start off with what your husband does for a living so spirit what does their husband do for a living so we have advertising, promotion, and marketing manager. Okay, your husband makes a good amount of money a year. He is making six figures, okay? He's very knowledgeable in business, um, marketing. Okay, he could have went to school for business. Um, he could own his own marketing agency or work for one. Okay, he does make really good money. That's the first thing I'm getting here. Okay, um, let's describe what he looks like. So, Spirit, what does their future husband looks like? Okay, so we have triangle shape. Okay, so that lets me know he's in pretty good shape. Okay, um, he has short hair. Okay.
okay? He has no beard or mustache, so he doesn't really rock the facial hair, okay? He has full lips, okay? He has rosy cheeks, long eyelashes. Now, I know some of you might be like, um, you know, why would I care about him having long eyelashes? I know that I've met some men that their eyelashes are so long, and I'm just like, how are your eyelashes that long? And they're like, I, I don't even know. I didn't even know I had uh, long eyelashes, right? Because, like, they don't even pay attention to that. And just some men, they just naturally have long eyelashes where you're like, yo, my, like, I'm, like, I'm jealous of you. Like, I wish I had those eyelashes, right? Like, as a woman, you know, you're just like, dang, like, we care about long eyelashes, but they don't. But it is saying that this person has long eyelashes, okay? This person is a Leo, okay? And they have a pert nose. So that basically tells me that they have a really cute nose. Okay, that's something that is going to stand out to you. They have like a little small, cute little nose. It's like they have the perfect little nose, okay? Now I'm going to ask Spirit to describe this person's personality. Okay, so this person's coming out as the King of Cups. Wow, you guys are lucky because not only is he financially stable but he's so sweet the king of cups tells me that he's emotionally balanced he's gonna be a great husband he's passionate he's gonna be a great father he's very caring um the only thing though is that you know there's always a dark side to people he could be a little manipulative i'm not gonna act like he's perfect you know um what i'm getting with him is that He's the kind of person that if something bothers him, he won't tell you. He can be kind of passive aggressive and he's actually very emotional and sensitive, but he hides it very well. And I think that's why when things bother him, he doesn't really, you know, talk about it. He's not very vocal about it because he feels like in a way talking about things that bother him is like him being soft. <laughs> and so he's just kind of like, you know what, I'm just better off not saying nothing, okay? Um, I am also getting that he's very spiritual, okay? For some of you, he might be religious. Um, what I'm also getting is that he may have some psychic abilities himself. He's very intuitive. He's very wise. He has a lot of wisdom. He has like an old soul, you know? Um, he's a mystery. He moves in silence. He's not the person that's going to walk in a room and scream and shout and stuff like that. His presence is, is like, a, it's seductive and it's sexy and it's mysterious, okay? Um, I am also getting with the world. He has accomplished a lot, okay? Um, he's accomplished a lot. He's had a lot of hardships in life. It feels like around the time you meet him, he will have just ended a very tough chapter in his life. For some of you, he, when you meet him, he might have just been graduating from like a, some kind of course or, you know, cause I'm already getting, he's making good money, but he may have like went back to school to, to get some kind of degree to make more money or uh, gra just graduated from something. Okay. We have the Three of Cups. Okay. Three of Cups does tell me that although this person is mysterious and they have like this quietness to them, they do have a lot of friends. They're very sociable. They're like a social, so, like a social butterfly. Um, I think the reason why they have a lot of friends is because they're so likable. You know, like I said, they're quiet. You know, but they're not so quiet where they're unapproachable, right? They're very approachable, okay? Um, we have the Queen of Wands here. This is your energy towards them. One thing I think that's going to really stand out to you about this person is the way that they compliment you. They're going to make you feel so confident. They're going to make you feel so sexy. Um, they're going to be so passionate about you. That's something that you're going to love about them. They're going to tell you how beautiful you are, how attractive you are, like, all the time. They're really good with compliments, okay? And then Seven of Pentacles. Um, 
I feel like they have a go with the flow attitude. Like I feel like they're the kind of person that they don't rush things, right? They're very patient. They're gonna be very patient with you as well. I think that's another thing that's gonna stand out to you about them, okay? All right, so for those of you who, um, you know, picked deck two, I just wanna thank you for stopping by. If you like this reading, please hit that like button, you know, share this video with, with a friend who wants to know what their husband's gonna look like. Um, if you want to book a prior reading with me, all the information to do so is going to be in the description below, okay? All right, so let's get into the people who picked deck three. All right, I just want to make sure I have everything situated, right? Is that deck three? Yes, this is deck three. I just want to make sure. Okay, so we are going to start off with what your husband does for a living, Okay police and detective okay so your husband is in law enforcement he might not necessarily just be like a police officer or a detective um he could be like a correctional officer he could be maybe a traffic officer whatever you want to call it i don't even know if that's a difference um if there is a difference in that um for some of you it could be a lawyer it feels like he's in law enforcement though okay he makes roughly around 65000 a year, okay? And what I am hearing from Spirit is that he's going to end up making more money than that, though. So don't get all hung up on, like, damn, that's not enough money. <laughs> he's he's going to end up making more money. Because what I'm getting is that he's, he's really passionate about his job, okay? So let's get into what he looks like. All right, Spirit, what does he look like? So he has a narrow nose. Okay, he was born in February, so he could possibly be, February I believe is Pisces. Um, is it Pisces and Aquarius? I'm getting strong Pisces, okay? Um, he has light eyebrows, okay? He's very fit, which makes sense, he's an officer, right? Um, he has heavy lower lips, okay. For some of you, your husband is overweight, for some of you. Um, for others of you, even though your husband is fit right now, as he gets older, he will become overweight, which, I'm being honest with you, if you look at most officers, when they first get into their field of work, they usually are fit. Cause there are certain like you know tests they have to take and they have to pass those physical tests but then if you start looking at them as they get kind of older they start to pack on the pounds you know and that's just because you know when you get older it's just so much easier to gain weight you know what i mean so for some of you he is fit and he'll stay fit but others of you he's already a little overweight and then for some of you he's fit and he'll over time become overweight um, he is extremely older than you, okay, and he is of Latino descent, okay? All right, so let's look at his personality. What kind of personality does he have? Okay, so he is coming out as the Eight of Swords. I would say that... Sometimes he does have a confused mindset. Um, and I feel like that's why it makes sense that he's in law enforcement. And I'll explain. I think throughout life, he's he's been through a lot. He's been through a lot of traumas. Um, I feel like throughout life, he's been a victim of certain circumstances. And he's felt hopeless. Um, he's felt very powerless. In life I feel like he's had a very traumatic childhood and you know bad things happen to him and I think that that's what led him to a career in law enforcement or you know criminal justice things like that is because he wants to get rid of the bad guys you know most people when we pick our careers a lot of times we don't realize it but it's like a 
certain things from our childhood could kind of mold us to want to pursue certain things. Like I've heard some therapists say that they pursue that because they were mentally abused and they don't want another person to go through that or they wanted to help people who were mentally abused. So what I'm getting here is like throughout life, they have felt stuck. They have felt trapped. They have felt like they were in a self-imposed prison, right? From their childhood. And they don't want other people to feel like that. So sometimes they do struggle with being very confused because it's like, they. I feel like in a way they still have some healing to do from the past traumas of their childhood. We also have the devil. I'm being honest with you. Your husband does have some addictions. Not addictions like um, like uh, drugs as far as like cocaine. Or, ooh, I, I should have never said that because this might get flagged. Okay, um, they don't have addictions like the D word or the C word, anything like that. I'm more so getting a drinking addiction. They like to drink to ease their pain, okay? So that's something that you're gonna kind of have to work through with them in your marriage, okay? We do have the five of wands here. So this person, um, they can be a little argumentative. You know what I'm saying? And I, I don't wanna sugarcoat what I'm seeing. Um, sometimes people be like, well, damn, that doesn't sound like the kind of husband I want. Yes, that's true. But if we be realistic with ourselves, sometimes we see certain characteristics in a person and we still choose them, you know, choose to be with them. So it is saying that this person could be a little combative as far as like arguing, but that's because they went through such a hard life. And also to what they do for a living, they deal with bad people. So it does make them a little on edge and aggressive, okay? We have justice here. It's funny the justice card came out. Justice is usually the card that follows in uh, legal matters. So one thing I will say about them is that this person is fair. So when you guys get in arguments, they will apologize. They will see that they need to do better, you know, and things that you point out to them that you don't like, they will try to work on them. One thing I am getting about with the justice card though is that something that might annoy you about them is that they like to talk about the legal system a lot. And at first it would be cool, but after a while you'd be like, can we talk about something else? You know, so they're really, really, um, intertwined with what they do for a living okay um now we do have the nine of cups here which is really good energy um it tells me that this person is extremely romantic they're extremely charming okay when you meet them you're gonna fall in love right away they're so charming they're so romantic they're so seductive you know um this person kind of has that ladies man or i'm not really getting their ladies man like they're playing or anything like that but they have that aura they're smooth you know it's going to be very easy to like them okay and then we do have the five of pentacles here this person is someone who does not like to spend money that's not needed to spend i am getting that this person likes to budget um this person is very responsible with money because most of their life they were poor so they don't want to be poor again. So that's something that you will also like about them is that they manage money very, very well. All right, so for those of you, um, you know, your reading was for deck three. Please, I just want to uh, say if you liked the reading, which you probably might have not liked it, but if you did, um, hit that like button. If you disliked it, click the dislike button too. That's fine. Um, share this video with someone else who wants to have a reading on what their husband looks like and if you want to book a private reading with me all the information to do so is going to be in the description below okay now we're going to get into deck four all right so for the people who picked deck four what does your husband look like registered nurse i said what does he look like i meant to say what does he do for a living i'm so sorry so he's a registered nurse uh, for some of you, he could be a doctor, um, he could be an LPN, CNA, he's in the medical field, 
okay? So he basically takes care of people, okay, for a living. All right, now let's get into what he looks like. Spirit, what does their husband look like? So he has trimmed and polished nails. This makes sense because if you're in the medical field and you're working with, you know, patients, you know, you want your nails to be clean, right? You want them to be trimmed. So I feel like his nails are really short. Um, I feel like he makes sure that they're clean, you know, because he's working with people. You know, he's he's a very clean person, okay? So that makes perfect sense. He has curly hair, okay? Plastic surgery. Um, what I'm getting from Spirit is that he's so attractive, people like think he has had plastic surgery or like he's so attractive that like men would take his picture and bring it to the plastic surgeon and say i want to look like this i want my lips to look like this i want my eyes to look like this i want my body to look like this okay he has no mustache he has a round face okay his birthday is in the month of march he has a close mouth smile. So, you know, some people when they smile, they show their teeth. He does not do that. He closes with, he smiles with his mouth closed, okay? Um, he does have vitiligo. Now, what I am hearing from spirit is that he doesn't have visible vitiligo. Um, it feels like he might be in the beginning stages of, you know, realizing that he has this. So it looks like it might be like on his hands or on his legs right now, but I'm not getting a, like a picture of him where it's like on his face or anything like that, at least not right now. Um, but some of you, he doesn't have this at all, but as he gets older, it, it will, he'll start to develop it, okay? And he is of African Caribbean descent, okay? So, Let's get into his personality. What kind of personality does he have? So he's called the Knight of Wands. Okay, so he's very adventurous. He's very fun. He's very flirty. Um, he does whatever he wants to do. Nobody can tell him what to do. One thing that you won't like about him, though, is that you'll feel like he sends you mixed signals. You'll feel like... In a way, you'll question how sincere he is and how um, how committed he is to you in the beginning when you first meet, okay? But that's just because he's always on the go. You know, he's always doing things. He's always exploring things. I feel like he goes on vacation a lot. I don't feel like it's that he's necessarily a player. It's just his life is very on the go, on the go, on the go, you know? And he has to find that balance with you. Now, we do have the Three of Cups here. So, Three of Cups does tell me that he is someone who has a lot of friends. He likes to go out with his friends a lot. You know, he likes to party. He likes uh, going to gatherings. He's very close with his family. So, that's another thing. You know, you would think like, hey, you know, he's out there messing with other people. But it's really because he just likes having a good time. Okay. They have the King of Pentacles here. It tells me that one of his best friends has a lot of money. So that's why he's always around him too. Not saying that he's a user or anything, but he has like really good friends who are like really productive and like really are doing good things in their life. And they inspire him. Okay, so this lets me know he's gonna he's gonna end up making a lot of money because of the circle that he has, okay? Now the eight of wands. Remember I talked about his energy being very like um, flirty and like free spirited. Eight of Wands tells me that whatever he wants, he goes for it. Like he doesn't wait around for opportunities. He just goes for it, okay? Eight of Wands tells me that when you first meet each other though, you guys will both be very smitten by each other. You'll both be very attracted to each other. There'll be a lot of chemistry. You will really be feeling him, okay? We also have with the Knight of Swords, I feel like when you guys meet, he's going to be very aggressive with you. Um, he's a person that when he wants something, he goes for it. He sees the moment. 
So I feel like he's going to come right up to you and start talking to you and, you know, telling you like how beautiful he thinks you are. And, you know, he's just really, really like a good listener and he's really, really good at talking too. Like you'll find his conversations to be really intriguing. And then Four of Pentacles, I feel like the both of you are going to be very possessive over each other. You're both not going to want to lose each other. You both are going to be like, no, they're mine. They belong to me. And this person, when they really fall in love, they, they become very attached. Okay. So, um, if you picked deck four, you know, that was your reading. Um, you know, if you like the reading, please go ahead and hit that like button. Please subscribe. Also, share this reading with someone else who wants to know what their husband is going to look like. And, um, yeah, if you want to book a private reading with me, all the information to do so is going to be in the description below. All right, so, deck five. Let's get into what your person looks like. No, actually, we're going to start off what they do it for a living. So, what does your person, your husband, do for a living? Market research analyst. Okay. So they make good money. Well, at least decent money. It's not six figures. But they are into marketing. Okay. It is telling me that they work full time. Um, they have a bachelor's degree. Some might have a master's degree. They're very strong in math. Um, they study market conditions. They're into sales. Okay. So that's good to know. All right, let's get into what this person looks like. So what does this person look like? So this person is of Southeast Asian descent. Okay. They are medium height. Okay. They do have some age spots. Listen. <laughs> I know some of you are like, uh, what? Nobody's perfect. Nobody's skin is perfect. Okay. Whether it be you have pimples, A spots, your skin's too dry, your skin's too oily. Nobody's skin is perfect. Just keep that in mind. Okay. Their hair is black. Okay. They have a rectangle shape. So it does tell me that this person, for the most part, is. I feel average body type, average build. I don't really feel like this is someone who like works out or anything like that. I just think they're just naturally a very like uh what's the word I use? Like they're 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 in good shape, you know, naturally. Um, but I don't think like they have this crazy like workout regimen or anything like that. They have a formal style, okay. Um, their favorite season is fall, or for some of you, they might actually be born in the fall. And we have Lanky. Yeah, that's what I'm getting here. Like, this person, even though they're, like, medium height, medium to some people could be tall. And that's kind of what I'm getting here. It's like, I feel like, like, when you look at these people, like, these guys, they look lanky to me. Especially him. You know, like, they're, they're average size. Like, they're, they're skinny, you know? I right. Let's describe their personality though. Okay, let's see. Eight of one. Okay. Well, one thing I'm getting about them is that they love to talk. They talk on the phone all the time. They love to text all the time. Um, I'm getting that they love social media. They're like always posting on social media. Um, I'm getting that they'll they'll be very consistent with communication with you. Um one thing I'm also getting is that when you guys first meet, they're going to be really smitten by you and you'll be really smitten by them. Okay. But they are coming out as the hermit. So they do like to be alone. They do like to isolate themselves a lot. Um, and I think that's why they're so drawn to social media and their phone is because they really don't go out like that. It feels like they're kind of a homebody. And I know I pulled the hermit here. I saw it as I was turning the cards. So this really tells me they're going to, because the hermit came out twice. Okay, so this is a person that really don't like to hang out with people. Um, they like to really do their own thing. 
I feel like they go to work and then they come home, okay? Um, Ten of Cups, they are very close with their family, you know? If they are hanging out, it's with their family. And they want their own family so, so bad. And they're gonna want a family with you. We have the Fool. They have a childlike innocence to them. You know, they're willing to try new things. Um, they could be a little immature in a way, but I think it's because like they joke around a lot. Sometimes you'll feel like they don't know how to be serious. That's what I'm getting here. And then we have the Five of Cups. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you. I think that your person, your husband does, uh, like kind of struggles with depression and anxiety. Um, I also think they deal with social anxiety. That's why I think that they don't like to be around people but their family. Because their family, they feel like they could be themselves. Um, but with you, it's like they'll be able to be themselves. And, you know, that, that would be cool about them. You just kind of won't like the fact that they don't really like to go out that much. All right. Now, um, for the people who pick deck five... Hopefully that reading you know, resonated and I was able to help you. Um, if you like the reading, please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Please share this reading with someone else who wants to know what their husband looks like. And um, oh yeah, if you want to book a private reading with me, all the information to do so will be in the description below. All right, so let's get into deck six. All right, so if you pick deck six, this is what your husband does for a living. So he is in web development and digital design. Okay, so he makes roughly around 74,000 a year. So it's not bad. It feels like he uh, makes websites, develops them, fixes them. So he's into coding, okay. Um, he could be self-employed. Um, for a lot of you, he does have a high school diploma or he taught himself or maybe he took a course to learn how to do this. Uh, for a lot of you, he has a bachelor's uh, degree. Okay. All right. Let's get to what it looks like. Spirit, what does their husband look like? So he is mixed race. Okay. So... Your husband is not just white, he's not just black, he's mixed, okay? He has large eyes. He has a very visible birthmark, okay? So you might have like a birthmark on his face or his hand. It's it's a birthmark that makes him stand out, okay? Um, he has very clean skin. So it lets me know that he is on top of his hygiene. He's a very clean person. He has brown eyes, high cheekbones. He has 20-20 vision, so he does not wear glasses. He has bushy eyebrows, and he's buff. So he does work out, he's athletic, okay? All right. Now, Spirit, please describe his personality to me. Let's see. So he's coming out as the king of wands, okay. One thing I will tell you about your husband is that, I'm so sorry about that because uh, uh, the beeping noise in the background. But one thing I tell you about your husband is that your husband is extremely ambitious. He's extremely daring. He's bold. He's very optimistic. Like whatever he wants, he's gonna go get it, okay? For a lot of you, he's an entrepreneur, okay? Definitely give me entrepreneur vibes, all right? Um, he has a lot of fire energy. So for some of you, it could be a fire sign. Fire signs are Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, okay? Two of Wands. He's very indecisive, though. That's something that's going to annoy the hell out of you. Like, you're going to say, hey, where do you want to eat? He's going to be like, I don't know. Hey, wh where, where do you want to go to buy some clothes? I don't know. You know? Uh, where you want to move? Oh, I don't know. I have no idea. That's going to annoy you. Like, yo, can you figure it out? Um, and then Nine of Cups. He is somebody that whatever he wants, he gets it. You know, Nine of Cups is like wish fulfillment. So whatever goals he sets out for himself, he's going to accomplish them. Okay? 
Um, one thing I will say about him is that he's gonna have most of the things you're looking for. Obviously, nobody's perfect, but you know we all have a checklist of things that we want in somebody, and for the most part, he's gonna check off everything. Okay, nine of cups. Um, no, nine of cups, nine of swords. Um, I'm be honest with you. I do feel like he suffers from anxiety, though. He does have panic attacks from time to time. Um, I just heard Spirit saying he has some kind of issues with his heart. So he needs to be like more careful with his health. He might have like high blood pressure, things like that. Okay. He's not like fat or anything like that. Um, but you can have issues with your heart and not be fat. So just keep that in mind. Okay. Five of Wands. Um, he's a fighter. Your, your, your husband likes to beat people up. He's not going to beat you up, though. You're going to be his weak spot. But don't be surprised. You know, you hear, like, stories like, yeah, your husband, you know, when he was younger, he used to beat people up. <laughs> he was a fighter. He was crazy. Um, he just has that fire in him, you know. He just, he just fiery. Like, somebody makes him mad, he just can't help it. He has a temper, pretty much. He has a temper. But with you, he's not going to have one. And then we have the Ace of Wands. Yeah, he's so full of fire. He's a fire sign. For sure, he's a fire sign. If he's not a fire sign, because I want to see, did it tell me before when he was born? Yeah, he's a fire sign. Look at all these all these wands here. Um, I will tell you, you're going to be very attracted to him. There's going to be a lot of chemistry. Um, I'm also tell you, he's very good in bed, too. But yeah, your husband is a firecracker. All right. So, for those of you who picked deck six, that is your reading. All right. So, if you like this reading, please go ahead and hit that like button. Share this reading with someone else because I'm sure your homegirls or your homeboys want to know what their husband's going to look like. Um, if you want to book a private reading with me, all the information to do so is going to be in the description below. Hopefully, you found this reading helpful. Um, I want to thank you once again for stopping by and um yeah i'll see you next one